Antonio. Uh, he got this nice, uh, well, cloth or kind of cloth, which we are going to simulate. But first, we need to to go through the basics. So I'm cleaning up my uh, scene. I'm going to add a plane, just a simple example like a napkin or something. So that's enough, I think. We're going to subdivide. We need more information there from menu. Mesh edges subdivide or just W and then one. Did a couple of times. There enough for now at least. So we have our napkin and then we need something for this napkin napkin to collide with, right? Move it a little bit. Now we have our cube, our napkin. And uh, it's always good to have a timeline it's to get used to, to use it, it's pretty cool. So we're going to set our mesh, our plane, as a cloth from the object buttons, then physics. And then where we have software fluids and everything, we have a nice big cloth button, which if we press and then press play, well, it doesn't look that cool, right? It's, uh, it's just falling because by default the cloth has some gravity on it but there is no mesh to collide I mean there is this mesh but uh, we didn't set it to uh, as a collision mesh so we enable collision and now yeah much better well a little bit can go back Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work out of the box. Now it worked, but uh, sometimes it doesn't because we need to know that the, both objects are in the same layer. Sometimes, uh, I, even me, uh, I mean, it happens that, hey, what, what, it's not working. And yeah, then I check and they're not on the same layer. Um, so be, be sure to, to check they're both in the same layer. Otherwise they will ignore and they, they will work separately. So I'm still needing some subdivision here. Maybe set smooth first. Yeah, better. Kind of. We still need some vertices. We could either subdivide or we could add a new modifier. Subsurf modifier. Subdivision surface. So if we add one by default and then press play well it looks kinda better right but it's still I got this ugly it's like it's lacking resolution yeah that's because uh, our cloth modifier is in the top of the, the stack so blender will first calculate the, this cloth will simulate it and then on top of that is going to apply the subdivision surface and uh, it doesn't look quite good now because we need more resolution for the for this cloth simulation so what we are going to do is move this subsurf modifier to the top of the stack so blender will first subdivide the mesh and then do the simulation the cloth the cloth simulation and the result will be much better when we can play Yeah, now it looks like like uh, it has more resolution, but still there are some errors here and there, which we are going to see now how to fix it. There are some corners coming out from the from our cube. It's like it's not really. Yes, there is uh, some corners coming out. We could either subdivide our mesh or uh, change a setting in our cube, a collision cube, which is called outer. And it's uh, by default is really low, it's like 0 0.020. And this is, we're going to put it in 0 0.2. And this is like a margin between our actual mesh our actual vertices on our cube and what is going to be like our field for the mesh to collide with so if we put it really high then the the the, 
the napkin will fall but it will not really look like it's it's touching it will look really fake it's not it will not look like it's touching the the cube and uh yeah it's not touching at all it's a lie <laughs> it's actually floating on top of it of course we don't see that from the outside but if it's really really obvious then yeah it could be noticeable So, we still could cool need some tweaks, which we are going to do in the next tutorial, so... See you there!